Uh, we've got a right-wing media watchdog group uh, called Media Research Center. They kind of fancy themselves to be the right-wing version of Media Matters. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep an eye on the media to see what they're doing and how they're screwing over the right wing. Their president is uh, Brent Bozell III. Please. Uh, he's got a bone to pick with Glee, uh, the sitcom on television, right? He says that they are promoting the homosexual lifestyle, right? Because they've got a gay character. Uh, but not only that, uh, his real problem isn't so much that uh, everybody is in favor of the gay character. His problem is they don't have the right kind of people against the gay character. Okay, let me explain. He says, the only characters on the show disapproving of homosexuality are vicious school bullies. Picture it here. In the May 25th episode, two brutish football players threatened to pummel the openly gay and riotously effeminate character Kurt for dressing up like a girl. Everyone else in this series approves, endorses, or participates in the homosexual lifestyle. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. that's awesome. All right, now, uh, you know what my conclusion was from this, Anna, about Brent Bozell III? What's your conclusion? Totally gay. I knew that was going to be a conclusion. As soon as someone condemns homosexuals, they're homosexual themselves. Okay. Uh, but, w number one, yes, that's yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. First piece of evidence is if you're stridently anti-gay, there's an excellent and overwhelming chance that you're gay. Mm -hmm. I'm just basing it on the evidence. So far, almost every guy that's you know been out there, oh, Ted Haggard, oh, the damn gays. Who, who can I give an erotic massage to? That's a guy who snorts some, snorts some meth off his butt, right? <laughs> and the list goes on and on, right? So that was number one. But number two, here's my piece of evidence, okay? And I'm the bad guy here. Two brutish football players. Who says brutish? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But th that's, that's not, okay, that's something, but not much. Pummel the openly gay and riotously effeminate character? Mm -hmm. Who says riotously effeminate? Was he also fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I'm telling you, man, you guys hear a story one day, Brent Bozell III, with a rentboy.com, et cetera, okay? And, and then, but hit this, okay, put aside my, you know, speculation on Mr. Bozell, okay? But um, I love his criticism. He says, you should have had anti-gay characters, but they should have been nicer. Yeah, I know, I know. I think, <laughs> I think that the show, I haven't watched a single episode of the show, but from that description, I can say that that's a pretty accurate description of uh, gay bashers. Okay. Yeah. That's, Bullies. That's what they are. Right. Are there polite gay bashers <laughs> that, they have now, that we haven't figured out? You know, they come by and go, no, no, I condemn your lifestyle, but I do it rather, you know, gently. <laughs> okay. I'm not riotous. <laughs> All right. And um, he says basically that Glee lacks enough fr friendly gay bashers. No, no, he didn't say the on, word gay on, basher, to be fair to him. He didn't say gay basher. Hold on. So, look, this is the right-wing um, right version. version of Media Matters, right? Like, think of Media Matters and the serious work that they do, right? They expose actual biases in the media. And then look at the clownish, comical work that this group does. Yeah. Like, they're focusing on a sitcom, on a television show. They're focusing on glee. That's all you can do? That's all you can come up with? Really? And that they should have had gay bashers that were nicer. <laughs> exactly. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, come on, okay? And we're supposed to take these groups as equal. Right, exactly. Okay, you want to know something else about Brent Bozell and his group? Uh, by the way, very legit, quote unquote, legitimate group on the right wing, okay? They, they're well respected, they're not some French group, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they said Time Magazine's uh, printing of a picture of the World Cup logo, their actual logo. Uh, was a conspiracy that it looked, quote, strikingly like that of the Obama logo. Mm. <laughs> Except it's the actual World Cup logo. Right. Okay, they didn't, Time Magazine didn't make it up. They're like, oh, yeah, if you like the World Cup, you'll love Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no, these guys are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> okay. What Media Matters does is they quote people and they give you the actual transcript. That's it. Okay. These guys are like, ha ha, I saw your logo, <laughs> and it looked like the other guy's logo, and I saw your homo, <laughs> and he was riotous. <laughs> was brute. <laughs> Whereas the straight people were brutish. Oh, <laughs> I do say.